The new generation of Volkswagen's midsize SUV has a new look, awesome technology features, and innovative new powertrains that make us wonder, has a people's car company suddenly become the front runner in the luxury SUV game? Hi, I'm Kim Beth Fennell. And I'm Vanessa Lee, and you're watching Auto Trader's new car review of the 2011 Volkswagen Touring. Now, the previous Touring was considered a good car, but it wasn't a standout, and this year everything has changed, and we really like the new design. It's a little bit smoother and a little bit sleeker. The front end especially got quite the upgrade. The subdued grille is similar to that of the Jetta, but I'm liking it on this Touring. And check out these U-shaped LED running lights. It's pretty unique. This car shares a platform with the Porsche Cayenne and the Audi Q7. Not bad company to be in. And I think it also takes its new styling cues from those luxury models. But at a lower price. Today we're checking out the new hybrid version, a first for Volkswagen. We'll get into all the new engines in just a bit, but first, let's check out the interior. All right, so there's room for five in here. No third row like some of the competition, but that just means more space all around, both in the seating area and the cargo space out back. And this hybrid is decked out. It's got leather everything, heated seats and steering wheel, and lots of tech features. All voice activated too. I like the nav system. It's really intuitive. And it actually displays these directions right in between the gauges. Overall, I think it's a really sharp, well-designed interior. And check out this panoramic sunroof. I think it's the biggest I've seen in any car. Well, you go ahead and enjoy that big, beautiful sun, because I'm going to test it out for a ride. Okay, so there are three very different engine setups. A gas, a turbo diesel, and the supercharged hybrid, all six-cylinder. The 3.6 liter gas V6 gets 280 horsepower, while the 3 liter turbo diesel or TDI gets 225 horsepower. Now that seems like a big difference, but that's just half the story. The TDI model gets a crazy 406 pound-feet of torque versus the gas engine's 265 pound-feet. And torque, by the way, is what gets you going from a stop or what helps you when you're towing. So even though the TDI engine has less horsepower, it's going to be peppier off the line. It's also more fuel efficient. 19 city, 28 highway versus the gas engines, 16 city, 23 highway. Now this three liter supercharged hybrid is a completely different beast. Combined with an electric motor, the total system gets 380 horsepower and an astounding 425 pound feet of torque, all while getting good gas mileage, 20 in the city and 24 on the highway. Wow, I never thought that the hybrid would be the most powerful. Yeah, there's been a bit of a stigma about the hybrid being underpowered, but that is not the case here. It does a lot of little things to help the gas mileage without sacrificing performance. Like the coasting feature, when you're traveling at high speed on the highway and you take your foot off the gas pedal, the engine actually shuts off. It's a weird sensation at first, but tap the gas pedal and it switches right back on smoothly. Okay, so it's not exactly an off-road machine, but it does have a nice all-wheel drive system and can tow up to 7,700 pounds. And it's less expensive than most of the competition. The gas FSI Sports model starts at $44,450. The hybrid is just over 60 grand, but it comes with just about every luxury feature available. And that base price is less than both the BMW X5 and the Mercedes-Benz ML. Who would ever thought that those brands would be the main competitors for a VW? Add that to the 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, and there is a lot to like about this mid-sized luxury SUV. This model is one of the best hybrid SUVs on the market, if not the best, and the TDI is a great choice for both power and fuel economy. It looks like the People's Car Company has come up with enough options to satisfy pretty much everyone. I'm Vanessa Lee. And I'm Kim Beth Fennell, and thanks for watching this new car review of the 2011 Volkswagen Touareg, right here on Auto Trader, the ultimate automotive marketplace.